in this video, we're taking you on a night out with us in Krakow. So we're gonna be going to some of the top touristy destinations, as well as some hidden gems for the bars, so some of the best bars we've seen online. Right, but we're in the square at the moment. Abby wants to grab a drink at one of the really, really nice fancy bars around the square. So let's not beat around the bush. Let's go and get our first drink. do that thing where I look at the menu for like 10 minutes and then just get a pint, so I'm just gonna get a pint. We did a little drive by day, we checked out all the places, but... Yeah, this has got the best real estate for looking at the square. <laughs> so this is like prime people watching real estate, which, because um, we don't have anything to talk about anymore, we just like to sit in silence yeah. looking at our surroundings. <laughs> and also, surprisingly, there is heaters above them in the imbalance. It's actually quite warm, isn't it? Yeah, it's decent. Look at this horse. Look at the horse goes. Alright, so the plan for tonight is we're going to go and revisit our favourite bar from last night that was super cheap. Then we've got vodka tasting on the cards. I'm looking forward to vodka tasting. So that'll be really good. And then I've researched some of the top bars here in Krakow, which we haven't been to yet. We've got loads of stuff to explore. We're expecting it to get pretty messy. I imagine no me and Gaz. So if we're dribbling by the end of the video, all I can do is apologise. You're dribbling already. <laughs> Cheers. the next bar the cheap one just yep. down the road literally like 10 meters down the road but the first the first one was actually really nice to just sit have a chill drink take in the atmosphere but now we're off to the to get some cheap booze which is good next up on our list is this place we came here the night before and stayed for quite a few hours it's pretty well known in Poland and has lots of interesting vodka shots like Long Island iced tea and sex on the beach for only one dollar it's just a two minute walk from the main square so a great place to head to next how much was that round? Uh, about five quid. I don't know what happened, so I ordered the gin and tonic, and then this beer is called vodka, but I ordered a vodka instead. So I got a gin and tonic, a pint of vodka, and then I think she thought I said vodka, so Abby's going to do a shot of vodka. No, you're doing the shot Not of vodka. Not a chance, though. No. And a gin and tonic. There's a local chain of bars as well, so there's a couple around Krakow, but it's a perfect place to start pre-drinking, so it's not too loud, you can have a seat, but it's also very cheap, so you can neck back your drinks before you want to go out into the proper town town. We're going to hold up on the vodka shop tonight, because obviously we're going to go to the vodka tasting after this, but yeah, it's really You've good here. You've got to do it, because I bought it. Uh, yeah, for yourself. I will rock paper scissors for it. Go on, then. Rock paper scissors, go. Rock paper scissors, go. Uh, no, no, do no. it now. Best out of three. No, you didn't specify, do it. Oh god. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> Love the taste is going to go well. Oh, and that's so strong as well. <laughs> All right, we just had a drink at our favourite bar. And it was bloody great. I'm going back there tomorrow. But anyway, <laughs> the show must go on. Abby drank me out and we're now going to vodka tasting. Where is it at? Vodka bar. Like, All right. Spelt with a W. Well, but at least they, at least they spell it right. At least they've got the name of but what yeah. you're going to do in the title. So apparently you can buy like a rack of vodka shots of different flavours and try them. So we're going there. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> What did you get? That's caramel. Caramel, I got. You've got like a fruity forest, based one. Forest fruits. And we don't know what these two are. Cheers. Uh, um, I'm going to say Mastave. Cheers. Uh, that was the chilli one, that was the coffee one. 
Oh, it's the coffee one, yeah. That one looks nice. I don't, it, it looks like nice. I don't know why we're putting ourselves through this. Like, we don't look after that. I do. It tastes like all right. It's like doing an all right shot, but I'd rather have a pint. Yeah, but it's one of the top things to do, one of the top places to see. First mission is trying to carry your tray of six up the stairs. So we managed to successfully do that, but I'm sure Abby's going to throw in the footage of me almost not. <laughs> But yeah, it's so cool in here. Yeah. I am enjoying this. That's nice. That's nice. Which one was that? The caramel. Tastes like Bailey's, but less alcohol. <laughs> So we have just finished in vodka bar. It was so good. It was like the best bar of the trip so far. Trying all the different flavored vodkas. There was such a good vibe. Like everyone's having a good time. Everyone was chatting to us. We made loads of friends. We met we? loads of mates. So it was really, really good. But we had to move on because we had 12 shots. And if we didn't move on, we'd be going to bed. So we're about to go to a place called Singer's Bar. It has been literally in every single article I've read online has it talked has. about this place. But to caveat that, it is 19 minutes walk away on Google Maps. So we are heading there, but we might stop halfway if we see a good bar. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna keep our eyes open. Let's go. See what, see where the people are at, you know. See where, see where life takes see us. See where the, the vibe just takes us. Just go with the flow. We're, we're so chilled. It's we so are. fun though because we feel like bottles in Poland because it's so cheap. So we got those six shots for eight quid. So we spent sixteen quid. Mental. Was in there for an hour. Met a load of mates. It's Can't mental. Complain, lad. Honestly, Can't they're complain. like one drink is like almost equivalent to that in Manchester. So. Yeah, exactly. I can see why people love it here. Right, change of plan, obviously, as always. We're heading into the Jewish Quarter, which is where we were planning on going for Singer's Bar. However, I think that's meant to be like the last Barbie place. So I remember there was another place on our list called the Alchemist, uh, or no, Alchemia. Anyway, I'll put it on the screen because I don't know. But it's in the same area, but closer. So we're gonna head there for a drink first and then head to Singer's Bar after. Alchemia is one of the oldest functioning bars in the Jewish Quarter. And even though it's popular on the tourist track, it still attracts locals as well. It has a super antique dungeon style decor with uneven floors and a mismatch of furniture. It's so cool in there. It's like full of locals, really nice pints, loads of drinks. The music's quite vibey as well. And they have trance a, music. Yeah, so it's like quite housey and quite trancey. And like downstairs, I think at 11, they open it up and there's DJs all night. So it's, it, it looks really, really cool. But we're just having a, a chilled drink outside to start. But yeah. Yeah, it was too busy to go sit inside. Completely packed, man. So I thought, on the way here, I thought it was all right. The shots haven't hit me, but I'm drinking this gin and I get blurry eyes. Like, it has hit me like a ton of bricks. So I think I might have to leave this one. No, you don't leave it. No, because she'll be carrying me home. That's fine, but you can't leave a drink. I think I need to leave it. Nah. I'm going to be dribbling. This is where things started to get messy. With me hooked onto Gaz's arm, we stumbled the 10 metres down the road to Singer's Bar. We thought Alchemia was busy, well this place was absolutely rammed. We grabbed ourselves another drink and pulled up a stool next to a piano to take in the atmosphere. It felt like we'd stepped back a hundred years with antiques scattered all over the place and sewing machines on every table. It was really unique. You can tell this place gets leery later on as it was already buzzing and we were there very early for European standards. Okay, we finished up at the old Singer's Bar. Yeah, Singer's Bar was great. It was like a jazz bar. I wish we could show you more, but it was so loud. But it looked like it was really vibey. Yeah. People were dancing, weren't they? It was so good. But overall, we've had a great night and we can say Krakow nightlife is bloody fantastic. Top tier, top tier would, and cheap. Would recommend it. 
We're gonna do it again tomorrow, but... Wait, how much did we spend overall? We spent 43 quid and both got drunk. Fantastic, would recommend it. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. We're gonna do more cultural stuff tomorrow, so if you're not into the drinks, then we'll see you for the cultural one. Bye! Thank you.